But I also want to thank my great friend, the Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, Dr. Denzel Douglas, for being here. Come, come here. Now, for all of you starting out on your commitments, th this man caused me a lot of trouble. <laughs> I paid more attention to the Caribbean and Central America than any American president had in decades. So I leave office, and in 2002, Nelson Mandela and I were invited to close the AIDS conference, the International AIDS Conference in Barcelona. And all we were doing, there was no money then, there was no global fund, there was no PEPFAR, there was no money for AIDS. And Mandela and I pretended that we were statesmen, and all we were doing was going around rattling a cup for people who were still in office begging for money. Meanwhile, I had to build a library, and we had like 10 employees in the foundation or something. No, as compared with 1,300 today. So Denzel comes up to me and says what I already know, that the Caribbean had the second fastest growing rates of AIDS in the world then, that he was in charge of dealing with this because he was a doctor. And he looked at me after Mandela and I had, you know, given all of our high-flown rhetoric, and he said, look, Bill, he said, we don't have a denial problem. We don't have a stigma problem. We have a money problem and an organization problem. And I said, Denzel, what do you want me to do about it? And he looked at me and said, I want you to fix it. <laughs> you, right? That's correct. <laughs> and like a fool, I said, okay. It was my CGI moment. I had no idea of what we were going to do. Okay, fast forward. Now we're providing drugs to people, the least expensive drugs, ARV drugs, in 70 countries. More than 5 million people get medicine off our contracts. Thanks to the French airline tax and a program called Unitaid, our foundation is able to provide life-saving medicine to 75% of the children on earth that are kept alive by AIDS medicine all because of this crazy conversation I had with an old friend that I just ran into. That's what I hope happens to all of you. I had no earthly idea that all the things that have unfolded in the last 11 years would happen, but I am profoundly grateful for it, and I owe it all to him. So give him a hand, would you?